Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you my mid-2007 iMac. This model came directly after the polycarbonate models of 2006, and its design of aluminum and black is still used to this very day. This particular 2007 model is the baseline configuration. Inside it sports a 2GHz Intel Core 2 dual processor supporting up to 6GB of RAM, although officially Apple only supports 4, but 6 gigs also works. For graphics, we have an ATI Radeon HD 2400 XT with 128MB of dedicated video RAM. And of course, visibly, we have the screen itself, which is a 20-inch screen with a resolution of 1680 by 1050 and an aspect ratio of 16 by 10. So let's go ahead and take a look at the ports on the back. Before we take a look at the ports on the back, directly below the Apple logo, you can see this door. Simply unscrew the screw in the middle and you have access to both of your RAM sticks for upgradability. For ports, going from left to right, we have a headphone jack or audio out, audio in, three USB 2.0 ports, one FireWire 400 port, one FireWire 800 port, we have an ethernet jack, as well as mini DVI video out. Taking a look at the whole back itself, at the top we have a ventilation slot. We have our shiny black Apple logo. In the bottom right hand corner we have the power button. On the opposite side, in the bottom left hand corner, we have our ports. Through this hole here we have our power. And directly above that we have another ventilation slot. On the right hand side of the computer we will find our super drive for CDs and DVDs. On the top of the machine we will find our microphone and on the front we will find our EyeSight camera. Okay, so let's turn on this mid-2007 iMac and see how well it holds up in 2016. Now when these mid-2007 iMacs first came out they were installed with 10.4 Tiger. If you have 2 gigs of RAM, well actually below 2 gigs of RAM, you can go up to 10.6 Snow Leopard. If you have 2 gigs or more of RAM, you can go all the way up to El Capitan. Unlike the polycarbonate models, where those are restricted to only 10.7 Lion. Here, we are running El Capitan, and if I forgot to mention earlier, these base model mid-2007 iMacs came with a 250 gigabyte spinning hard drive. At this point in time, it is unknown if the next version of Mac OS X will be supported on this computer, as the next version of Mac OS X has not been announced yet. But if the next version is supported on this mid-2007 iMac, I will definitely put that information in the description below. And if it isn't, I will also put that information in the description below. So that aside, here we have the desktop of the computer. Let's go ahead and take a look at about this Mac. And you can see that all the specs are as previously stated. And you can see the exact version of El Capitan we are running. It is 10.11.4. We can see the display, the storage, and the formats that can be written to with the super drive. And again, here you can see the 250 gigabyte hard drive. We have two memory slots, and to achieve six gigs of RAM, you have one two gigabyte stick in one slot and a four gigabyte stick in the other. Currently we only have three and that's been working really well. You can also find support and service in these tabs as well. So how well does this mid-2007 iMac hold up in 2016? Let's take a look. Of course you can find all of your files and folders with Finder. We have Launchpad and you can find all of your applications. We also have Safari is all the way up to date. You can also run Firefox 
and Google Chrome up to date as well. Of course, iTunes. And a very nice thing is that the newest 2016 version of Office is also supported. We have Word and Microsoft Excel. Of course, the others will work as well. OneNote, Outlook, PowerPoint, along with the previously stated Word and Excel. You can also run Office 2011 if you so choose. Let's go ahead and take a look at how long it takes Word to open. Now this may vary depending on how much RAM you have in your computer, but many people use Word, and this being the latest 2016 version, many people will probably be upgrading from the 2011 version. So here you can see it opened pretty quickly. You can go ahead and select any document you would like to create. I'll just choose a blank document and hit create. And here we have our word processor. So let's go ahead and quit word. Let's open Excel just to see how fast that will open. And it opens fairly quickly. And you're up and running with a spreadsheet. Let's go ahead and quit Excel. On terms of internet browsing, like as previously stated, they're all up to date. And all of them work with YouTube perfectly well, even at 1080p settings. We can take a look at Safari. Of course, this is just default, how it likes to come up. You can go to the Apple Store here. And we have, comes up very nicely, and transitions very well too. The graphics, even though it only is 128 megabytes, keeps up very well with this computer. Let's go ahead and quit that. We'll take a quick look at Firefox as well. And that will work perfectly fine. Of course, you can make it full screen as well if you wish. And of course, we have Chrome. And we have Apple's website here as well. So all three of the big internet browsers work perfectly fine on this computer. iTunes works well. And of course we see that Word, Excel, and other Microsoft Office 2016 products work flawlessly on this machine. Of course there's a whole bunch of apps that are supported. Some people may ask how well Minecraft runs on this computer, for example, and it runs really well. I haven't had any problems with it. So, there is my review of the mid-2007 iMac running in 2016. It's amazing how well such an old machine works in 2016. So let's go ahead and shut it down. So I really hope you enjoyed this review of this mid-2007 iMac and how well it runs in 2016. Also please comment, rate, and subscribe and thank you very much for watching.